it's a huge cost. Um, and I think that a lot of people only see the wages that they have to pay, mm. but don't think about the potential benefit to the business itself. Most photographers have lots of areas in their business that they don't enjoy doing. Mm. Um, or you see them whenever you know, it's time you know, to do something like return a phone call. They're like... And suddenly there's all this other stuff they have to do first. Yeah, like retouching <laughs> and all of that sort of thing that, they, that takes priority. They stress about it and they put it off and sometimes don't call mm. back. Having somebody that's dedicated to that area and maybe they're working two, three days, probably three days a week for you, um, or full time, that, that they absolutely love the phone and enjoy talking to people and believe in what you do. I think everyone just fainted. What's that? Well, how can there be someone who enjoys being on the phone? <laughs> I haven't met one single photographer that enjoys being on the phone with their clients. Well, that's why I probably shouldn't be a photographer and hiring somebody that's outside of that industry. Yeah. Um, that loves being on the phone mm. and totally believes in what you do. Um, and that's the other thing, a lot of photographers don't believe in themselves enough to be on the phone to convince other people mm. that this is something they should do because it's totally amazing. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you were at, a, at one of our clients last week and had to train somebody totally out of the industry. Yep. Um, she obviously loved being on the phone, yeah. loved talking about, loved talking to people about um, having their photos taken and she's doing great. Amazing. Giving her the, the foundation of, um, I guess the right place to start from, right from the beginning. Yeah. It was, you know, three days and she was already booking three to five people a day from that point. Which can transform a business. And if you think about your averages, mm. um, which you know, there's a huge disparity amongst photographers as to what their average sale is. And, and, and a lot of people don't really even monitor it or know it. Mm. But there are people that are, are achieving great averages. Yeah. So in that particular business, that specific business, um, their average is somewhere around... You know, Since she's been on the phones, I think they said it went up to 22. Okay, so the average has gone up because there's somebody excited on the phone. Yeah. So at, at 2200, if she's booking an average of three people per day, mm. the cost to that business of not having her there mm. is three times 2200 is $6,600 per day. Mm. Um, and you, you're obviously not paying them anywhere near that. The loss that you forego is that potential income. Of $6,600 a day. A day of potential clients. And it just seems that come this time of year when there is so much distraction, because it's APA, mm. and we're spending a lot of time preparing prints for APA, getting ready for it and attending and being part of it. I mean, it's a social event and you want to be part of it. Yep. Who's in your business making the appointments for you mm. and generating the income? It's just such a huge part of, an important part of the business that it's just too expensive not to have somebody that loves being on the phone mm. do that for you.